so far in our discussion of returns for normal registered taxable person we have seen three returns gstr 1 2 and 3 we have now come to the last of the returns for normal taxpayer gstr 9 This is an annual return. It is filed by both supplier and recipient. That's just one person. We've just drawn this distinction to identify the details in an easy way. It's an annual return, and it's a consolidation of all the twelve monthly returns that the taxpayer files. The details required can be divided into five broad categories: basic details. details of expenses which are inward supplies details of income outward supply return reconciliation statement and the profit and loss the first one basic details it is just gstin name of business another information that has to be given a very specific information is whether the taxpayer is liable for statutory audit or not If yes then the date of audit as well as the name of the auditors have to be mentioned that's all with the basic details the second one detail of expenses in this you will have to fill in the total value of purchases on which input tax credit has been availed and it has to be split for interstate intrastate and imports next any other purchases on which input tax credit has not been availed you'll have to net off the sales returns on your purchases whatever you've returning and any other expenses other than purchases all of your expenses that form part of your expense side in your pnl you'll have to mention here in these four categories simple The next one is the detail of income as you can guess all the value of supplies on which gst is paid split for interstate intrastate and export any other supplies on which no gst has been paid split for exports and others all your purchase returns whatever returns the people who purchase from you make net it off and any other income other than supplies all the incomes that appear in your profit and loss all of the line items have to be filled in across these four broad headings that's all it's an easy return most of it would be available through your uh, gstr 3 whatever is not would be directly there in your profit and loss account so details of expenses and income because we are going into the profit and loss category we are not calling it as outward or inward supply it's a total of your business the fourth one and this is the most important one in the annual return the complicated portion return reconciliation statement basically what you're trying to do here is you're reconciling your return your tax paid as per all your monthly returns which are consolidated so you have a tax paid amount and your actual tax payable based on your statement of profit and loss audited or not that's where you'll have to reconcile your tax liability and payments the difference in the two figures as per your return and as per your audited profit and loss could be because of two reasons one that the difference is on account of audit some audit entries have been passed that could be a reason the second reason which is not at all related to audit is that the difference could be on account of an assessment order or a refund claim assessment order is initiated by the tax department when they find out that you've short paid tax they'll issue an assessment order or refund claim that's initiated by you the taxpayer to claim refund for any excess tax that has been paid In the first category if the difference is on account of audit then you'll have to submit these details for all three categories of taxes IGST CGST and SGST you will have to give in the month wise differences between the tax paid and the tax payable as per audited account so 
even though the audited accounts is on annual statement of profit and loss you'll have to find out the difference within each month this is in order to calculate the interest and penalty amount the interest would be per month rate so till the day that you find your annual return if you have short paid tax what would be the interest or if you have excess paid tax then how much of interest are you supposed to earn that's why you need month wise differences along with the differences you will also put in the amount of interest and penalty in case of short payment that's all for differences on account of audit the next category differences on account of assessment order and refund claim as we've discussed the assessment order is issued by the gst officer for any short payment while the claim for refund is filed by the taxpayer in this situation if you receive an assessment order and there's a difference and you've acknowledged that then in the return you will have to give in details of order of the tax payable the differential tax payable the interest and penalty for such short payments and what's the current status of order has it been acknowledged and you've paid all the returns is it closed or have you appealed against the order and it's lying with some statutory court what is the status of the order for the second category where you're claiming refund in such situation you'll have to give in details of the claim why you're claiming such refund what was the excess tax the date of filing the claim for the ref- refund the amount of refund and the current status of the claim whether the tax authority has accepted your claim have you received the total amount that you've claimed for is the refund claim closed or still open that's the status of the claim that you'll have to give in in the annual return that's all in the return reconciliation statement remember this is one of the most important portions of the annual return the rest of the details are already there from your monthly return it's not auto populated gstr 9 is not auto populated you will have to fill in the details on your own so difference on account of audit and difference on account of assessment order or refund claim that's what you're trying to reconcile difference in tax as per your return and as per your audited statement of profit and loss moving on to the last one profit and loss when you're talking about your business as a whole and not individual transactions you definitely have to give the figure of profit and loss that's where the tax comes on so you'll have to state the profit as per the statement of profit and loss your gross profit your profit after tax and your net profit you'll have to give in these figures as well and with that all the details that gstr 9 requires you to fill we've discussed all of it basic detail expenses income reconciliation and profit and loss gstr 9 is a consolidation of all monthly returns in gstr 3 gstr 3 is a consolidation of gstr 1 and 2 statement of outward and inward supplies respectively those are the four returns that a normal registered taxpayer has to file now remember there are due dates last date within which you'll have to file these returns for all of the returns that we are talking about there is a due date we'll discuss the due dates for these four returns in the next video